What is up ladies and gents? My name is Jaden of Team Vox Populi and you are here to join me for another 1.4.7 mod showcase. Today we will be checking out the Primitive Mobs mod for 1.4.7 by DavyX0. And this mod adds a whole bunch of brand new mobs into your game. Actually, they're not really brand new. They're improved versions of existing mobs in Minecraft. So this is like vanilla with sprinkles. And everybody loves sprinkles, am I right? And so without any further ado, let's get started. First off, we have the Traveling Merchant. This is like any other testicle, I mean, um, um, <laughs> testificate. And basically what he does is he just wanders around with his fat ass backpack. And he'll go from biome to biome and he will spawn randomly in any reasonable biome, so not nether or mushroom or anything like that. But as you can see, he is just like any other testificate and you can trade him normally for other kinds of stuff. But he does not despawn, he simply wanders around until he dies. Forever alone. Now next up we have the Lost Miner, and as you can see, he will spawn in a cave underground that is technically below Y60 level, I think? And as you can see, he is a Lost Miner and he's crying because he's lost, and as you can see, he's also a creep and he will follow you around like crazy. And as you can see, if I try to leave the underground, he follows me, and it's really creepy. Hey, get over here. You're stupid, hey. Okay, so once you guys are both above ground, you can right click him and he'll drop hearts and he will give you anywhere from one to three emeralds and as you can see I got two so he's a cheap bastard. <laughs> now the next mob we have here is the haunted tool. So these guys will spawn just about anywhere and as you can see they are haunted tools and they do get affected by your texture pack which is good. And let me say first that these guys are really difficult to hit because they're so thin. They just they just they have tiny hitboxes. But yeah, so these are the mobs, and as you can see, when you kill the haunted tool in question, they will drop themselves. And as you can see, here's the gold pickaxe that I killed. And they're unenchanted, but this is a great way to gain it. In case you were wondering, diamond tools spawn at 5% chance rate, so it is worth trying to kill these guys. Oh, hey, look, a chest. Nope, Chuck Testa. This is the mimic, and as you can see, he is an asshole of a chest. He'll spawn in the mine shafts. Let me just turn this on. And as you can see, as soon as he is killed, he's still an asshole. All he drops is a chest. Yes, that's right, just a chest. There's a 25% chance that the chest that you find in a man shaft, man shaft, man shaft, a mine shaft will actually be the chest in question. But 75% of the time, it's a mimic. Yeah, that's right, it's a mimic. You gotta deal with it. Alright, so these are the treasure slimes, and they will spawn underground, so that's below Y40. And basically, what happens with these mobs is that you can see the item inside the slime. Oh, butter. Butter. <laughs> and as you can see, they drop whatever was inside them. Now over here is the special surprise. This is the white or heart slime. As you can see, if I shift and right click him, he's now on my head. And then if I right shift and right click him again, he pops right off. Now he's black and he is the heart slime. Basically, this little guy will follow you around, and he has been tamed. And if you want to heal him, you just feed him a slime ball, but otherwise he'll follow you around, and he's super cute. Yes, super cute! Now this weird looking guy over here is the Rocket Creeper. As you can see, he has a really weird face. And he's just like any other creeper, except... Well, I think it's best if I show you. Ah! Boom! And as you can see, he explodes with a bang. He jumps up into the air. This guy's most deadly in caves when there is not enough space for him to jump up. He'll just come straight down and bomb you. <laughs> now this derp right here is the festive creeper. And as you can see, he's like other creepers, but he leaves fire behind him when he is afraid of you. So I'm just going to switch into survival. And as you can see, he's already locked onto me. And he throws primed TNT in your face, that's right. Now if you get closer, he'll try to run away, but he leaves a trail of fire behind him. He is also immune to explosions, so you gotta smack the crap out of him, so I'm gonna switch back into creative. Cause he deserves to die. Now as you can see, ah! as you can see, he dropped flint and steel, which is one of his drops. Now that guy over there is the support creeper. He's just like other creepers, but as you can see when I walk towards him, I get the slowness effect. As you can see, he's not much of a threat when on his own, but say if I spawn other people, like the festive creeper. As you can see, 
he will give the other mobs buffs, and if they are creepers, he will strike them with lightning and holy crap, he turned that guy into a pigman. But anyways, that is the support creeper. He's just like the others, you just want to go and knock him out as soon as possible, and he will drop a fire charge. And as you can see, you know, fire charge, yeah. This guy is the brain slime, and he looks fairly harmless until you get too close to him. In which case, he jumps onto your head and starts sucking out your health. Now I'm worried now because he's coming after me. And, and he's just a bastard. And he'll spawn more. He'll spawn more. And, and it's, it's, just, it's just not a good time. It's not a good time. So kill those guys as quickly as possible. If preferable, just snipe the crap out of those guys. Because they can drain your hearts fast. Like the Metroids from, you know, Metroid. And yeah, Metroid. Yeah. <laughs> Last, but definitely not least, is the spider family. This is a mother spider with a baby spider on her back, and as you can see, if you start to damage her, and I switch into survival, which is not a smart move. Oh crap, I was dying, I forgot, okay. So as you can see, I'm just gonna beat the crap out of her. She makes the most horrible sounds when you smack her. And there you go. She'll die like that. Normally, two other baby spiders will spawn alongside her. And when you kill her, you get the spider egg. So I'm just gonna have this spider egg here. When I right click, I get my own baby spider. That's right, a baby spider, and he follows me around. He's friendly. And as you can see, if I right click him, he now has smoke effects that puts him in aggressive mode. So just like any other wolf, he will attack any other wolf. Like a wolf, he will attack mobs that are aggressive towards me. Now I can right click again to turn that off. As you can see, I can take my shell. Oh. Pop him back into his spider egg, just like a Pokemon, and I can throw him back out again. I'm gonna get some fermented spider eyes. And as you can see, if I feed it to him, he grows up just a little bit. So I'm gonna get some more fermented spider eyes. And here we go. I will be able to make him grow. And as you can see, he's now a fully grown spider, and he loves me. That's right, he loves me. And as you can see, I can no longer put him back into his little shell. But as you may also be able to see, if I right click, I am now mounting the spider and I can control him. That's right, I'm Jaden, Lord of the Spiders. I found him! So this was the other baby spider that spawned with the spider family and as you can see now that he's separated from his mother he is crying so I'm just gonna put him out of his misery. Ah, oh, die you orphan. But as you can see they drop a considerable amount of XP. Ladies and gents, that's that for this mod. This has been the Primitive Mods Mods Review. Try saying that five times. The Primitive Mobs Mod Showcase for 1.4.7 and the link will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did making this. Um, I'd like to thank the subscribers who subscribed in the last two weeks since our last video and their names are up here on screen. And I hope that you, the viewer, will be the next subscriber to be featured in next week's mod showcase. So until then, ladies and gents, if you like what you see, and you see what you like, and you like who I be, keep the love alive, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Every subscriber really does help, guys. I will see you in next week's mod showcase, but until then, stay classy, ladies and gents. Alright, bye bye well. Have, say, rose red in your hand, for example, and you just feed it to him, it'll change his... Never, never, never.